As you can see, I built a Python racing game using the library in just 39 line of Python code. Consequently, we'll write a program for moving total objects horizontally until it will reach our calculated finish line. Then, we'll create 7 unique duplicates for these total objects using for loop along with different colors and random moving speeds. Then we'll add our background image, which is roads, which will add visual representation for every total object, just like a real racing environment. Also, we'll compute different values along with particle or y-axis to define their standing locations. Finally, we'll prompt the user to enter the path, so that if the user's bad color matches our winner total color, we'll display winner on the screen, otherwise we'll display you lost on the screen. So let's create a new project, let's call it racing game, then click create, and let's add a new python file, called main.py. Now let's go to the graphics python documentation, here are the full details about this library. Let's scroll down, and in the startle motion section, you can see different type of methods, we'll use a few of them in our current project. It's recommended to you to read this documentation at least once before jumping to code. Don't worry, I will simplify it for you. So let's import title. Call this screen a new variable screen. Then call this screen dot exit and click. Here's the result. Now let's work with the screen object for defining our game canvas. Let's set width 800 pixels and height 600 pixels. Here's the result. It's time to load our background image for our canvas. So let's drag and drop road.gif file in a racing game project. We'll get this image in the descriptions. Let's add this image with screen.ptp road.gif. Here's the result. Now let's create a total instance from total methods with a shape called total. Here's a total object, but it seems really small, so let's define shape size too. Here's the result. Now we need to change our total location to the left bottom corner using go to x minus 50 y minus 260 pixel. So here we set x for moving total horizontally and y for vertically, along with computed values expected to our canvas. So we can take y position in the global variables and add different types of values for the respective roads. Now we have to create 7 different types of total objects, for this reason we'll use for loop. So for index in range 0 to 7, and then move our existing total instance in the slope. And of course we have to change y to global y positions variables and get their index in order. Here's the result. So you can see, 7 total instances created equally with different y locations. Let's add some random colors by using global variables. Then we use color of colors index method with their indexes as a result. Beautiful. You may realize there are some ugly lines in move direction and move directions is very slow. So we can use speed fastest and pen up methods to solve this problem. Have a look. Now what else do you need? Yeah, we got it. We need to get a random pace for every turtle. So how can we move forward with them? Well, we can use forward method to do this job. Let's say we need to move forward our total 30 pixels. As a result. But they are not moving continuously. What is gonna do here? Think about it and come back to my solution. So to solve this problem, we can take a variable called this is on and set it to true. Now we'll continuously execute our programs and we'll break it using while loop. Now we have the right opportunity to move forward our total continuously with 30 pixels in every step. Oops, it's moving like a plane. We need to target all total objects to move them in order. But how can we do that? Think about it and come back to some solution. So we can take global variables called all total and set it to empty list. In this for loop, out of creating a seven new total instance, we can append our newborn total to this global all total list. This way, we can access them in other code blocks. 
Now we have all totals, so we can say all totals dot forward with ten. Let's say the results are better now. We can see an error. The list object has no attribute forward. This happened because we use forward in all list items without getting each item. So here we need to use for loop again to get each turtle from this list. And forward each turtle with 10 pixels. Let's we'll see the results now. So we fixed our turtle moving problem. But they're running infinitely. There is no ending limit. Also, all turtle moving at the same speed. Think about this problem and try to solve this problem. Let's take a new variable's random pace and set it to random run int 0 to 7. So it will return value between 0 to 7 randomly. You have to import random in the top. It should import automatically if you're using PyCharm. Finally, pass the random pace variables in a forward method like forward the random pace. Now we need to define our finish line in the canvas. Solve this problem. We check if total.x coordinate or x core is greater than theta t set is only equal to false. Also we need to continue executing our programs. Is the result. Okay, we are done. Let's change our speed a little bit. Finally. We need to let user enter the bat using screen.input and with a placeholder, enter bat and prompt with title color in a global variables user bat. Then we take a variable's winner for title color. And check if winner equal to user bat, which is come from the input of the user, or print your own. Otherwise, otherwise we lost. Now let's see the result. So let's say red color will be the winner. Hooray! We are the winner. I want to test again with Dodger Blue title color because we want to make sure every program work correctly. Oops, I lost this round. Now I want to show you this print text in the canvas with the responsive title color. So here in the top, take two global variables, align and font because we want to reuse them. And we have to show the text in the canvas instead of printing the terminal. So we write title at right. Let's run this code one more time. Let's say yellow title will be the winner. Oops, orange the winner. Yay, I'm the winner. So, we are another racing game project with Python. Look forward to hearing from you about this project in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.